Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Pattap. This video is part of our new series which PE focuses on Otisa interview questions. Each part includes three Otisa questions along with the answer which significantly enhances your preparations for the upcoming interviews. So without any further delay, let's begin with part 9 of Otisa interview questions. Well, we are back to our screen mode where you can see Otisa interview question part 9 along with the three questions represented on the screen. So without any further delay, let's begin with our first question which basically states, What is CRC error in CAN protocol? You can answer to this particular question in the following format. In the CAN protocol, CRC that is nothing but cyclic redundancy check is used as a method for detecting errors in transmitted messages. Here's a simple explanation of CRC errors in the CAN protocol. When a node sends a message on the CAN bus, it includes a CRC value calculated based on the message content. This CRC value acts as a kind of a digital fingerprint of the message. Upon receiving the message, the receiving node recalculates the CRC based on the received message content. If the calculated CRC matches the CRC value sent with the message, it indicates that the message was received correctly. However, if there are errors in the transmission such as noise or interference on the CAN bus, the message content might get corrupted. In such cases, when the receiving node recalculates the CRC, it won't match the CRC value sent with the message. This discrepancy indicates a CRC error signaling that the received message might be corrupted. So, this was all about what exactly is a CRC error in CAN protocol. So now let's quickly jump into our next question that is our second question which basically states Are CRC parameters such as polynomial and initial value configurable in AutoSAP? The answer to this following question is yes. CRC parameters such as polynomial and initial value are configurable in AutoSAP, offering flexibility and customization for CRC implementations tailored to specific requirements. Now, let's look into detail of both of them. The first one is polynomial selection. The CRC polynomial determines the mathematical formula used to calculate the checksum. AutoSAP allows developers to specify the CRC polynomial based on the application needs. The polynomial is typically represented as a binary number with specific specific coefficients indicating which term are included in the polynomial equation. For example, common CRC polynomials that are used in AutoSAP include CRC8, CRC16 and CRC32. Let's move on to the initial value. The initial value is starting value of the CRC calculation. It initializes the CRC register before processing the input data. AutoSAP enables developers to configure the initial value based on system requirements, thus allowing different starting states for CRC computation. The choice of initial value can impact the resulting CRC checksum and may vary depending on the application content. So this was a short answer to our second question. Now let us quickly jump on to our third question which basically states, Can a CAN node detect and correct errors in the received message using CRC? Well, the answer is no. CAN protocol includes error detection using CRC that is cyclic redundancy check but it does not support error correction. Which simply means that detected errors are reported but the protocol does not specify by error correction mechanisms. Well, this was all about our third question. These are the few short interview questions that might be asked in the interview rounds. If you want to know more about Otisar related topics, you can definitely check out our Otisar playlist on Link Frequency. Well, this was part 9 video of Otisar interview question series. I hope you found the video insightful. For any queries, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.